This might be the only way up. Well, it's a shortcut. Shortcuts are good. So, oh no, no, you can do it. Come on, you're almost at the top. You just about had it. Grab the lip and pull up. Uh oh. Sprain risk. We got a broken neck risk. I don't know what else to do here. Come on, Astrid. Pull up, girl. Hypothermia risk now. Up. Okay. Let. Okay, let go. Drink. Drink something. Oh, I didn't even bring. I didn't bring a go drink. I didn't bring. Oh, there it is. Yeah, drink it. It's worth a headache. Woo. Yeah. So nice. Oh, we're so far away still. <laughs> and Astrid's freezing to death. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. It seemed like a great idea at the time. Like, rope. Climb. I've never felt so cold in my life. It's bad, isn't it? But I think we can make it. Right now, she's just at hypothermia at risk. She doesn't actually have hypothermia. So, you're fine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Eh, well, I'm not. But I play one on YouTube. And her name is Astrid. <laughs> How ironic. All right, this is really bad. There's, there's no way to warm up unless I get a fire going, but we're just so close. I think we can do it, Astrid. All right, let's check the map. Oh, we're right on the path. This is the path? This does not look like a path. Where the heck is the path? There it is. A path, a path. Oh, no. There's wolves on the path. Okay, and they're blocking our path. That's all right. We got a gun and we can shoot them. <laughs> That's right. You better run. Man, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of wolves in this pack. This is a big pack. Look at that. Look at that wolf bar. It's one big wolf bar. All right, here they come. Here they come. And shoot. Man, why are they not dying? Why do they not die? Where the heck is this uh, tower? <laughs> Can't see anything. I see a rock. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, then. Got him. What the heck? Oh, wait. Is this the right path? Can we get up this way? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the proper way. This doesn't look proper. This doesn't look proper. I mean, it's right there. It is literally right here. Can't see a darn thing. I think they lost the wolves anyway. Oh my. Dropped out. <coughs> Oh, minor bruising. Torn clothing. Radio a fence. Yay, we made it. We'll have a chance, How do we get in? Oh, there's a body in there. There's a body in there. We gotta find the door. I know it hurts. It's okay. We're just about there. There's a break in the fence. We can do it. Woohoo! Okay, get inside. Quick, 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 quick. How do we get inside? Oh, dead guy. We'll check him later. Inside we go, quick. I can only hope the radio in here is in better shape than everything else in the Ooh. valley. Okay, first things first. Reload the weapon. There you go. All right, we're warming up. Hopefully those fingers still work properly. There we go. And let's check the body. That is the next priority. Oh, look at the clothing. We have a headache. Nothing we can do about that. Hypothermic risk. That's not a problem. Sprain risk. Yeah, what, what's wrong with your foot down there? What is that? Just a risk. I think it's just because we're heavy. All right, no big deal. You'll be fine. We do need some sleep, though. <laughs> Maybe we can sleep right here after we do what we came for. Uh, oh, my. Look at all the goodies. Ammunition. Okay, let's, let's not loot right now. Priority, again, is to... What are we doing here? Use the radio. Right. Let's use the radio. Is this the radio? I think that's the radio. I'm going to just turn this off. I don't think we need it. We can use the radio in the dark, right? Oh, yeah. Have a seat, Astrid. Take a load off. You deserve it. Does she know how to use this? Yep. The radio is sure dead. No. No, no, no. Well, that trip was a waste. Are you kidding me? I should get some shut-eye. Strike off for the mine Father Tom mentioned in the morning. Oh, 
It's time to say bye to Pleasant Valley. Wait, what? No. We're not... Are we leaving? It's over? Oh. Oh, the Aurora. Power's coming on. It's the Aurora. Huh. Hey, Astrid, get up. Yeah. It's Power. working. It is. Quick, 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 quick. There you go. Damn. Why can't I get anything? Squelch. Come in. Squelch it. There we go. Hello? Come in. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Can you hear me? We need help. There's some kind of quarantine situation. Hello? Mackenzie. What do you mean quarantine? Mackenzie, is that you? Is there a doctor with you? We need a doctor. We need a medical Shit. assistance. Anything. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. We're cut off. <sighs> You're alive. Damn, Mackenzie. You're alive. And on your way to Perseverance Mills. I've got to get there. What a coinkadink! We're going there too! Oh gosh. Electricity. Who's that Molly? Must Achievement unlocked. He sky. lives. Yes, let's uh check the phone. Hi Molly. What Bad timing. Mean? We have a lot in common, you and I. No, we don't. How's that? left our men behind. We both like to be alone. We're both hiding from our pasts. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I didn't kill him, you know. I wanted to. So many times. I just never had the courage. And as bad as it got at times, at least I wouldn't be alone. Being alone would be worse. That's what I told myself. I don't judge you, Molly. I didn't kill him, but I may as well have. I watched while the wolves surrounded him. I knew what was coming. I had a rifle in my hands. I could have helped them. Molly. It all happened in slow motion, you know, like a ballet. They were so quiet and confident, like there was no other way it could end. And I just stood there, frozen. He was yelling at me to shoot. I, I couldn't. They circled. And then they were on him. Like a force of nature. Molly? Why are you telling me this? Because it's important for someone to know. For someone to know what? That I don't regret it. Not for a second. The convict. Outside with the arrows in his back. Is that your handiwork too? Yeah. They're all gonna pay now, Astrid. Who are? All of them. We've been in the background, in the shadows, invisible, overlooked for too long. Uh uh, not anymore. I'm not sure revenge is the answer, Molly. <laughs> Maybe not. But it'll do for now. <sighs> Feels good to be on this side of the hunt. So I'm making up for lost time. Take care of yourself, Doctor. You too, Molly. Tell me one last thing. Your pilot. The one you left behind. You one of the good ones? Yes, he is. But things are... complicated between us. Let's just say, I wouldn't want to find him with an arrow in his back. Then I hope to never meet him. It's been good talking with you, Astrid. For a little while, we took the loneliness away. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you can help those people up in Perseverance Mills and... find some peace for yourself. Thank you, Molly. I hope you can find some peace, too. A uh, cuckoo, a uh, cuckoo. That woman has lost her mind. She's at war with everybody or met. I don't know. I don't know, but she is. Uh, she's out there. So we got a lot of stuff here to look through. We got um, we got the aurora right now. So we got some lights, even though they're flickering. So, oh. <laughs> no! I was just about to go through everything. I guess we can still do that with the lamp. 
But let's check this place out and see what's here. While we heal up and warm up and all that jazz, we might need that cloth. We did tear up some clothing on that fall that we had there, so we might need all that cloth. Lantern feels good. It's pretty new. Just don't want to miss anything looking around here. Oh, there we go. Firearms kit, sewing kit. Very nice. Cardboard box, not interested. Metal chair. Alright, we're just gonna go left around the world and end up right back where we started. Best way to do it. Uh, oh, we got a note here. Oh, it's the collectible, part three. It all happened during a storm, so we'll never know exactly what the heck went on out there. All we do know is we're cut off from the highway now. Tons and tons of rock stand between us and the rest of Great Bear. An earthquake? Maybe. Take it. All right, and we'll decipher that later. Another achievement unlocked. Every last one. That, is that three? You guys probably don't see them. I don't think they get um, recorded, but it's a steam achievement. Mm. Okay, cool. there's a bullet on the seat right there, too, on the chair. Grab it. Sloppy, sloppy bullets. Everybody's so sloppy up here with their bullets. Take them, we can break them down. Again, I'll do all the organizing stuff and the preparing off camera. But let's see if we can find some amazing loots. I think I can use this. Not amazing. Cartridge down there. More cartridges everywhere. And accelerant, sure. Um, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. We're gonna go. Oh, herbal tea! Thank goodness, because we were running low. I'm gonna leave all the food and water behind. I don't need that at the moment. Bunch of books. Switch the drawer. It's probably useful. Sure. Don't need the scrap metal. I don't think. Uh, and two more lockers. Oh, more combat pants. Don't need the dog food. I'll grab the soda though. These print nuts and stuff. Stop. Stutch. Stutch. Eh. That's everything there. Old clock. Flare. Work gloves we don't need. Metal container. This will come in handy. Nope. 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 Um. Yeah, I'll take those nuts. Those are good nuts. Those are fresh nuts. We'll eat the fresh nuts. Nothing down there. All right. Okay, I think that's it. I think that is it. One more quick look around the floor here. For sloppy bullets. Did I miss a drawer? Oh, I missed a drawer. I'll take it. Oh, I love it. I want that. I want that in real life. Somebody get me one. Thanks. Uh, no whetstone, though. Still no whetstone. Which is interesting. I guess I don't really need it. Okay, so let's quickly look at the map here and everything. We gotta enter the mine and leave Pleasant Valley. Once you enter the mine, you will not be able to return to Pleasant Valley. So yeah, we're gonna have to get um, completely organized before we do that and make sure we have everything we need for Pleasant Valley. Although I don't think we're gonna be able to actually get there in this episode or this um, story mode episode that is, because I don't think it's complete yet. That's where we gotta go. The mine now has a location uh, marker. Fantastic. Well, 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 what do we have here? A hidden container. Didn't see it. <laughs> empty. Oh, what a flashlight. Flashlight down here. Oh, yeah, this is fantastic for the Aurora, which just passed. It's not going to work without the Aurora, but you know what? We can kill this thing now. I think we're done searching around for all the loots. Uh, yeah, that flashlight is pretty fantastic, but completely and utterly useless unless the Aurora is kicking. Uh, but here's what we're gonna do. We are going to get organized. What time of day is it? I think the sun's going down, right? Yeah, it's um, it's nighttime right now. And the, the moon's going down. The sun's gonna be up shortly, and we need to get some sleep. So I think what I'm, what I'm going to do right now is pare down the pack and get ready to head out of here in the morning as soon as we get up. And I think Astrid's probably going to get a few hours of sleep because she's very tired and slightly injured. And I think her clothes are wet and some of the stuff is torn. So yeah, I'm going to go through all that right now. And then I'll see you all in the morning when we're ready to roll out. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay. You want the top bunk? 
Oh, the low bunk. I think Astrid's gonna sleep up. No, she's too tired to even climb. All right, I'm gonna go to bed right here. Let's get uh, four hours and the sun will be up um, nice and bright. Good night. Look at that. Astrid's gaining strength. She's no longer at a sprain risk. Up to 88 pounds. Fabulous. And let us eat. A, let's eat some. Um, we're just gonna go full bore with a military grade MRE because we have a couple of them and they are getting heavy. Mm, 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 mm. And also something to drink, a summit soda. And then we're gonna head out. Sounds like the blizzard is still kicking. Of course it is. What else is new? Oh wait, before we go out, we should probably figure out a plan. <laughs> so we're here at Signal Hill, right? We're gonna get down to the mines down here. They call it a mine, and it's of course it's the on the other side of the map. So we have a long way to go through this blizzard. So we're gonna have to come up with a plan. I don't think we can get down that way off the mountain. So I think we're gonna have to go this way, either the way we came up. Actually, we're not gonna use that rope again. Forget that. I think we're gonna go to maybe Hilltop Cave. Um, stop there and, and uh, warm up and do whatever we have to do and then I think there's a, a fishing shack here in Pensive Pond right and then we might be able to make it to Thompson's uh, community center and then finally strike out for the mine that's the plan let's do it out we go Ooh -wee. yeah it's brutal out here lizard still uh, still here. I don't need the arrows. Let's just walk around. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Supply bin. I don't need anything. Uh, seven pounds. No, <laughs> no, we definitely don't want this. What is all that noise? Is that the, um, that's the fence. Marine flares I don't need. Fire log I'm going to take. Let's take, uh, we'll take one of them because we can get a... What is that? Sounds like something's going to fall on top of us. Oh, look at this. We've got accelerant here and a metal container. More, more loots. Oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, fine. Go drink. Bandage. Okay, great. Let's get a fire started. Let's get a fire started right now, right here. Let's do it. Let's uh, use accelerant because we've got tons of it. And yeah, we can just use a fire log 100%. Go! I'm going to make some coffee before we head out. Yeah, listen to that rattle. I think it's just the fence rattling. This storm is so loud. Hope you guys can hear me okay. We're going to make some coffee. And I think I'm going to grab some wood in case we need to start fires on the way. And we're still slightly underweight. All right. I guess I can take that too. Okay. Let's pass the time. And let's drink that coffee. We got a boogie. <sighs> Delicious. Pick it up. And now, now we can roll out. Still got a little bit of uh, leeway here. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Sprain risk. Eh? Oh, what happened? How come we're so heavy? Oh, the pot. Yeah, I had to pick up the pot. All right, we'll drop one of these pieces of wood. And you know what we can drop? Let's drop some of this. Drop that MRE. We don't really need it. We got plenty of chow. Okay, we got four pound leeway. Now the map. We gotta go. We gotta go that way, which means we gotta go all the way around. Oh wait, can we take a torch? I don't think a torch is gonna stay lit in this, so no sense. Woo wee! It's a blizzard, all right. <laughs> okay, this is the way to go, right? Uh, gotta take a left at Albuquerque. Is that the path? No, this is the path. This is the path right here. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's run as much as we can. We have one go drink in case we need to take that. Um, are we on the path? I think this is the path. It's like an old an old road that leads up to the Signal Hill. Uh, slightly off according to my arrow, but I think that's just um, some kind of a glitch or something. No idea. <laughs> All right, so our first stop's going to be Hilltop Cave. Just a bit up. And to the right. I'm carrying so much stuff that Astrid can barely run for very long. Now, can we block the wind over here? Right there? No, not high enough. I think the wind's blowing right in our face anyway. All right, well, there's nothing we can do. We can't run. Can't hide from the wind, so we're just going to brave it. 
This is what they call brave in the storm, I think. I feel, I'm feeling pretty brave. How about you, Astrid? Feeling brave? She's being really quiet right now. I don't think she's feeling so brave, to be honest. <laughs> well, at least there's no wolves. I guess we scared them off. They know what's good for them. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn right in here and get toward this cave, because she's already... She's over. Teeth are already chattering here. Didn't seem like it went very far, did it? Oh no, there goes the fatigue. And I'm gonna grab one stick, just one. And there goes our warming up. Dag and Nabbit, not that it mattered because the warming up doesn't even have an effect. We've got three down arrows even with the warming up effect. <laughs> so it's kind of pointless, but the coffee does keep Aster awake a little while. All right, we're almost there, girl. Almost there. Can't see anything. What is that? Is that just a rock? That's just a rock. Oh, something here. It's a deer stand. Have we been in this stand before? Got some little pebbles outside, or maybe not. Oh, Jeez, look at this. It's cold. Yeah, it is. We don't even need it. We don't even need it. Uh, maybe the newsprint for a um, Tinder plug, but I think, I think we have a couple. All right, we're almost there. I think that's it. I think I see it. I see a hole in a rock. It's a cave. And there's a fireplace right here. We've been here. This is empty. Yes, we have been here. All right, hypothermia risk. I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. <laughs> you don't sound very good, Astrid. <laughs> Sounds like she's drunk. Look at this. We got books here. Fantastic. Ooh, a little uh, ammunition box, but it's empty because we've been here, obviously. And there's the bed of leaves, and we're warm right here. However, not warm enough, and it's going to go too slowly. So we're going to get a fire started in here. I think if we use that fire out there, it's just going to be too exposed. So we'll just get one going here. Um, we have a cedar firewood. We're going to use accelerant here because we have plenty of it. And that ought to do. Bang! Light it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right yeah, right on. Now we're talking. We got one hour to warm up by this thing. Do we have any more fuel? Oh, we got another fur firewood. I think I'll put coal on here. It'll give us a little more burn time, because I think we're gonna... What time is it? I mean, it's pretty early yet. We don't have... Uh, we still have a ways to go. <laughs> but I think I might do some repair work, because the wolves... Not the wolves. What happened? Oh, when we fell, right? When we fell off the cliff. Some of uh, Astrid's clothes got torn somehow. And we need to fix that up. Not sure what, though. Oh, the pants. Decent snow pants are not in very good shape. All right, we'll fix those up right now. And the wabbit skin hat. Oh, it requires rabbit pelt and cured guts. Of course it does. That's what it's made out of. So we can't fix that up. We do have a spare hat over here just in case. Yeah, let's do some repair work. Let's start with the decent snow pants. And we have plenty of cloth, 25 minutes. And we have uh, one sewing kit and fishing tackle. We'll use a sewing kit. All right. Nice job, Astrid, even with the frozen fingers. She did it. And we have this uh, air wrap that could use some stitching up, but anything else in really terrible shape. Can't fix the mittens either because they're made of wabbits and we don't have any wabbit skin. And the mukluks require cured leather. Oh, we have some of that back at, at the uh, hall, so we can do that when we get there. Well, let's try this right here 20% wet air wraps. 25 minutes. Go for it. Beautiful. All right, I think that's good. And we have how much time left in the fire? Hour 33. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I think we are good to go. So let's just cook up some more coffee. Oh, we got plenty. Of, we have coffee left right here. <laughs> okay. I guess we weren't very thirsty when we had our coffee this morning. So we'll just throw that right there and heat it up. Right down to the wire. One minute until burn. Pick it up and drink it. Oh, did I get it? Oh, no. It burned. 
It burned out. <laughs> Dang, I missed it. I was trying to coordinate it with my uh, with my wolfskin coat, drying it off, but I left it on too long. All right, no biggie. We got plenty of coffee. Let's try that again. Nine minutes, and then pick it up and drink it. Mm 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 mm. And don't forget your pot. Pick up that hot pot. And now let's see how our wolfskin coat is doing. Thirteen percent wet. Well. Not much we can do about that. We gotta roll out. Grab a torch. Let's see how long it actually lasts. I don't think we need any books or anything, do we? We got a couple. Let's go. Let's brave the storm. Oh, without a torch, apparently. Okay. Uh, can we drop it? How do we drop it? You can't throw it when it's unlit. That's really strange. So we'll just drop it. Let's get the rifle out instead, and now there's a dead deer. We could probably grab some guts from it, but that would be really dumb right now. Oh, look at that. Only two down arrows. Oh, never mind. Okay, back up. Back back, back up to three hours. Oh, there we go. We hide behind a tree. It blocks the wind for one quick second. That's not bad, huh? Although, we're not warming up, so it doesn't really do us any good. <laughs> if it's down, it's bad. Up, it's good. All right, we're going to get back on the road here and turn to the right and get to Pensive Pond. And if I recall correctly, there is a fishing hut there we can jump inside to and uh, warm up. I think there's a stove in there, right? Most of those fishing huts do have stoves in them. Uh, where did they put the road, Astrid? I thought it was right here. Were we close? Oh, we're parallel to it. Man, if you just turn like a fraction of an inch on screen, it's like uh, it throws you way off course. All right, this is the picnic spot. Here's the pond and the hut. It's right there. Beautiful. And as it's still pretty warm, we still have the warming up benefit here. All right, here we go. Don't shoot the door. Oh, oh look at all the fish. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Got all these fish over here. They're all gamey. Yeah, it smells a little bit in here, but at least it's warm. Well, it's not really, is it? We're gonna get the pot belly stove going. Which won't be an issue, because we have lots and lots of accelerant. And we're gonna use it. We'll burn right through it. Get that fur wood going. There we go. Hour and 38 minutes to warm up. And let's check the clothes. Yeah, everything's soaked again. Big surprise there. At least once we get to the community hall, um, they have a free fire there and it burns forever. And we can hang out there and sleep and eat and drink and make merry before we get to the mines. Thinking about cooking a gamey fish. Sure, let's cook up a gamey fish. I'm gonna lay it right on top of it. Oh, look at that. that. Looks delicious. It's almost fresh too. I mean, it is cold here, right? So it's been frozen or refrigerated at least 31 minutes until ready can I cook oh I can't get my uh, coffee pot on there yeah if we had carried a small can around with us then maybe that would fit but we don't have a small can Astrid only has a big can one big can and that won't fit well, we got 24 minutes. Should we do some kind of a repair job? Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's the beautiful music kicking in. See, this is so nice. We're on a fishing trip. We're camping out. We're eating relatively fresh lake whitefish. Uh, will be in a moment. It doesn't get much better than this. The raging storm out there. <laughs> It's great. It's great when you're indoors by a nice hot stove and the wind is blowing and raging outside with the snow falling down and accumulating all around. It's really, really quite cozy. It almost makes you forget about the man-eating wolves outside waiting for you. Well, look at this bass. It's fresh. Should have cooked the fresh bass instead, but look at that. That looks delicious. Let's just pass the time. Now it looks better, doesn't it? Grilled fish. Grab it. Eat it. Mmm. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Harvested lamp oil. What? From fish? Wait, can you get lamp oil from fishes? Oh, that's so cool. So you have an endless supply of lantern fuel in this game by catching fish. That's brilliant. I love it. 
All right, let's get some coffee going, and then we gotta get out of here. Nine minutes past the time. Drink it. And that's all she wrote. Pick it up, and let's go. I think we're ready. But I want the riffle. All right, riffle, riffle good. Riffle good. Close that door. I don't want the fish to get cold. Okay, we gotta go to the right, and we can just cut straight through. Straight due east. Is this east? Let me check my arrow again. Pretty close. Like I said, you turn like a fraction of an inch, and you're way off course. It's crazy. All right, we still got the three down arrows for temps, and we got a couple down arrows for the eyeball. Uh, so yeah, things are bad, but it could be worse. It could be wolves or bears. Don't say that too loud, though. <laughs> Don't remind Astrid. I think she's uh, she's forgotten about those things after that nice fire in the uh, fishing hut. So fun. I think we can make it to the community center now. I don't believe we're gonna have to stop. Just gotta keep walking. Put one foot in front of the other. Do -do -do -do. I don't even know what the heck is in front of us. It could be a grizzly bear with its paws wide open waiting for a big hug. And we'll run directly into it. All right, we're at the road, so we can kind of angle this way and shorten the trip a little bit. What is that music? Uh, it's kind of neutral. It's not like uplifting. It's not horrifying. It's just like, hey, you're in a blizzard and you're freezing to death, but at least you have warm fish in your belly. It's not so bad. It's like a balance. It's a balancing act, this survival thing. Now, what is this hill all about? Let's go to this side. It'll block the wind a tad. Oh, look how close we are. We're almost there. <laughs> this is great. See? You just walk. You talk. And before you know it, you're at your destination in one piece. But with a lot of wet clothing. But that can be mended once we get inside. I see something. I see a farm critter. I was going to say a farm animal, but <laughs> it's a mechanical farm animal. This is good. Wait, did I pass it? Oh, it's right there. Man, you can't, really can't see anything in these blizzards, can you? There it is. I mean, you can't see the smoke. You can't see the flames. But this is beautiful. And we're back. Man, I don't know what we're going to find in here. Let's go find out. Hello? Survivors? You're all still here. N nobody's even moved. What is going on? Uh, hey Tom, we're back. We went to the radio tower and we called some people and everything seems great. Some kind of quarantine over in uh, Perseverance Mills though, so uh, we'll head that way. Okay? Okay, good talk. Good talk, thanks. <laughs> we're going to sit over here by the fire and I think we're going to call it quits right here for now. So hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. And we're going to make for the mines over here and probably finish this, uh, this series up until the next chapter comes out. Who knows how long that's going to be. But it should be fun. And we'll see you then. Have a good day. Bye-bye.